on today's episode. Welcome. Here I'll show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. Here's a Canon G11 camera with a, a familiar fault, uh, the, the lens that, that won't retract. And uh, simply if you power the, the guy on, all that happens is the, the motor tries to retract the lens and then uh, objective error and, and restart the camera. There's not very much you can do. Now I've tried all the all the usual tricks of uh, obviously making sure that the battery is charged. I've tried taking the SD card out, not that, that makes any difference really. Uh, you can't, on this model, you can't get to the menu to reset it. And I've tried the, the sort of gentle, with this guy closed, a gentle sort of tap on the on it when you're when you're powering it up just to see if we can nudge it into retracting but uh, no nothing seems to to uh, to sort the problem out so the only, the only thing that we can do is to, to take a look inside get the thing apart and see if we can see anything obvious jammed in the in the mechanism I have also tried uh, putting uh, compressed air shooting that around the, the the lens i've tried the trick of uh, pieces of paper poked down there to see if there's anything there but uh, to no avail so um, the last last chance saloon is uh, getting inside and taking a look now to get to this point uh, what i've done is to take the four screws off of the left hand side and the and the the, the, the support for the for the strap uh, similarly, on the right-hand side, there's um, two screws. One is one of which is hiding inside this this cover here. And then to remove the the actual the back cover, uh, just gently pry that up. But um, be aware that inside there is uh, this little uh, latch that you need to to unclip to get the flex strip out for the uh, the button the control buttons on on the back. Um, this is another another thing which is uh, sometimes a problem with the the G11 camera is that these these buttons don't respond very well or they're quite erratic. So you can also use this tear down and and then take this unit apart here and and clean it up with some some uh, some cleaner, some sort of uh, switch cleaner preferably, and uh, that might sort any problems that you might have have out with that dial. So now we can see the, the assembly inside and I've got to work out how to uh, try and get the, the lens assembly out. What I've decided to do next is to take this front cover off and um, see what's under here in respect of things that might be holding the lens on. And this will, if you just gently move it, it will come away. Now, when I first took it off I was rather concerned there seemed to be something um, holding it and I was afraid that there might be another ribbon cable or something but it turned out to be just the adhesive on the on the microphone there so just be be careful there and uh, just gently keep moving it and it will come off and I notice here that um, there's the little battery I guess that's keeping the date and time so if you need to change that at any point then uh, that's where it's hiding so now we can see around the, the lens and uh, as I say I'm just investigating now as to whether the, the lens will come out from the front and I suspect there's probably screws that will need to come out underneath this, this metal plate. Now along the edge of the metal plate stuck to it is the, uh, are the cables for the LCD panel here. Um, what I've done is just to gently lift that out. If you've ever done any any phone repairs, this is very similar to the uh, types of connector that you get on a on a phone screen that uh, that lock the LCD down. So just again, be be gentle. And uh, I found it uh, the best way with uh, a fingernail just underneath the edges there, and then that that pops right up. 
So we'll come back when I've investigated the next stage. So what I'm trying to work out now is how to remove this metal plate here. This seems to be covering up where the, uh, the connections for the lens, or rather the screws that support the lens are. Now these um, un unclip relatively easily and looking at, you know, there are screws on the bottom, this part I think needs to come off, obviously the screws for the the LCD, another screw there. Now where it gets a bit more interesting is in this corner here where the metal actually goes underneath this circuit board. So I think this circuit board has to come out. So I've unclipped that. This, this is um, a metal plate above the circuit board. The only real challenge I can see here is that there's a very small connector with two very fine wires there which is going to be needed to, to, to be removed. So I'm going to remove that and the screws supporting this circuit board and uh, see if I can get that out. Now what I was trying to do is to get this circuit board out but in trying to remove that I found that underneath this part here on the other side of the circuit board there is in fact a connector that uh, that joins it to another board underneath. Now to get to that we have to take the top off. Now to get the top control panel off there's a screw here on this side and another on the front and then it does just lift off. Um, bearing in mind that uh, I mentioned to you earlier this tiny little cable that had to be released from the circuit board there. Uh, if you don't do that then that's going to tear and that's probably bad news. Uh, the thing to be aware of now having exposed the top is that here on this side um, is a capacitor uh, which fires the, uh, the inbuilt flash. Now those capacitors uh, can hold a, a significant amount of a voltage so I don't suggest digging around too close to to that. Um, I would guess the obviously the contacts are on this side here underneath that cover and uh, if we have to get in in that far then uh, we should take uh, appropriate caution. So having got to this point uh, we can now see that this circuit board is is held by this ribbon cable if we just gently pry that guy out, then we have released the uh, the top of the circuit board there. Uh, well, we're getting there slowly. So I've ha taken the screws out from this back plate here. Uh, there was one that I couldn't actually get to because of the circuit board being in the way, which is this black one here. So let's release that. And now see. Oh, this is going to be fun. So we have now released that plate there, which is holding the lens mechanism in. Now, before we continue, I need to uh, to make some notes of to what I've just done, so that we can get it back together again. So what I've decided to do next is to take this metal frame off that uh, it's surrounding the, uh, the the lens mechanism here and again be cautious uh, as we're going to in the process of doing that uh, we're going to be exposing the uh, the circuitry for the for the flash so there's uh, screws here around the the lens I've just taken those out and now gently we can unravel that part again not getting too close to that capacitor and we can see that there's a, a ribbon cable that goes around the side which if there's any justice in the world will be this guy here so if we release that let's just see there appears to be yes so uh, put it again that to one side and now we're really getting into it 
can see the motor here for the for the lens control and now I've got to figure out where we're going to go next I suspect the idea that I have is to uh, to maybe disengage this motor if that's possible and then see if we can retract the lens by hand and uh, see if there's any anything that's uh, obstructing it so we're reaching the end game now uh, as I said I wanted to try and disengage the motor to have a look at the the gears inside now the next challenge there was that this cable here which contains what appears to be a little a uh, little light sensor, uh, not sure if you can see that there, but that, that sits into this uh, housing at the top here and I guess is, is, is sensing the rotation of the of the lens mechanism and that was, um, that was glued in so that was a bit of a pain but having released that and removed uh, the screws around the around the periphery of the lens we're now able to get inside and take a look see let's just fiddle with that a moment so yes yeah, so now we can look at the gearing here and uh, try and fathom what's going on we'll see whether the gears are not held in place it's difficult to see what exactly is going on so I'll give that some thought and we'll come back when I've taken a look at that. Now I've just removed this gear from the from the mechanism and I'm not sure if you can see it here but there is there appears to be a, a, a grain of sand actually wedged in um, into the into the gears there. So I'm I'm just uh, just wondering if that was the cause of all the problems. Uh, Interesting. So I'll get that cleaned out. Let's just take a moment. We'll see with the lens disassembled now we should should be able to just move the, the lens by hand. So it's retracting in now, and I don't know if you can see that, but yes, there is. It appears to have sand or or, or something in in the gearing. So I have to go around those and, uh, and and clean any parts out that I find and put it back together if we can. So having gotten to the nitty gritty, quite literally. Uh, I've removed some grains of sand and other bits of of, of crud, but I'm nil, still not uh, not very happy with the way that this is is moving. It seems to be very uh, very stiff, and uh, I think the thing seems to have gotten out of sync. I don't know if it was dropped onto the lens or what has actually happened to it, but it doesn't uh, fully close, uh, so. I think we have to go in inside here and uh, actually strip it down further to see what's going on inside. Uh, this ribbon cable here uh, needs to be fed through as we gently try and remove the, the central central part. Yes, this is uh, going to be exceedingly tricky. Right, so it looks like we've got more disassem disassembling to do to get these uh, ribbon cables free. So now we've really got inside the, the lens and unfortunately we've uh, found the, the cause of why the, the lens wouldn't retract. And it is in fact that uh, one of the ribbon cables here has, uh, has broken, has snapped off. Yes, yeah, so we can see that that has, uh, has unfortunately broken off. We can see it's uh, broken off on the on the curve there uh, obviously when this is going in and out um, it has to uh, to move around and eventually that flexing has has unfortunately broken it 
Um, so that I think for this for this lens and possibly for this camera is is, is game over. Now I know it is possible to buy these um, on 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 their own. These leads, I think that's the one for the for the focus motor. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I'm not very happy with the the, the rest of the lens. I think has been uh, well used and uh, it, it doesn't seem to, to move very well so the only option would be to to buy a whole new uh, lens assembly now that is not dreadfully expensive i found them for around about 40 euros um but with the you know the second hand value of an entire camera is only about 60 65 so it's going to be the client's call as to whether it goes ahead for me to order that other part uh, or, uh, or or move on to a to a new camera, so disappointing, but uh, you can't win them all.